we understood from the very beginning that we need to come up with multiple candidates uh, to ensure that we identify a most potent and uh, a candidate with a with an excellent safety profile. The reason why the COVID vaccine could be developed in 10 months is because it's based on platform technology that we've been developing over many years. This technology uses mRNA. It encodes a protein. And when injected into a person, the person makes that protein in an immune response against it. So when the pandemic started, uh, we, we were on a strong footing, both in terms of the science of what we want to immunize against, and in terms of the experience we've had in our platform, albeit not to having brought anything all the way through, but we had a good understanding of you know what should be the dose range and what should we expect in terms of how this would work. Typically in vaccine development, it takes years because you're waiting for fairly rare events to occur, which is infections of the disease you're trying to prevent. And the paradox of vaccine development is that the worse it is out there in terms of the pandemic, the easier it is to show an effective year vaccine, because as you can see in our trial, we got a lot of cases.